Oh, hey there guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous videos, we observed how to buy an NFT on OpenSea Marketplace and marketplaces alike. Those were like Ethereum and Solana based tokens, but there is another popular blockchain out there that supports non-fungible tokens as well. And obviously it's called Binance. Although Binance NFT Marketplace is easy peasy navigation, I think having a step-by-step -step guide at your fingertips won't hurt. All in all, transaction fees on Binance are pretty low, like about 7 or 15 cents against like Ethereum $20 or up to $100. Quite a big difference, right? So let me show you around how to purchase an NFT on Binance. But yeah, guys, before we start, if you really like the content that we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon not miss our coming videos. So let's get started the video already. Okay, so with NFT's growing popularity, there has also been a large influx of new marketplaces and platforms to buy, sell and trade these non-fungible tokens. Some charge high fees while others like are clunky and having poor transaction speed. And if you're looking for an easy to use marketplace with low fees, and good functionality, I think Binance NFT might be right up to your alley. Binance NFT is the world's largest centralized NFT marketplace where everyone can browse and trade a diverse section of in-game items, virtual land, pieces of art and so on. So the only thing here is flat trading fee like just 1%, so it's just so little in here. With such a diverse selection of top NFTs, created by world's famous artists and indie content creators, you can definitely find an NFT that will definitely catch your eye. Although you might be embarrassed by such a huge assortment of NFT collections on Binance, so before you make a choice, I recommend you watch this video first and we will explain you how to choose worthy NFTs out there. However, if you have already found your gem suitable token, let's figure out how to purchase it first. So there is obviously step number one and it's create a Binance account. If you plan to operate small sums, sooner or later Binance may ask you to verify your personality. So make sure to enter correct personal credentials such as like your name, country and, and so on I think. That will help you avoid problems with verification down the road. Step two here is to top up your wallet with some crypto. You can top up your spot wallet with such tokens like BNB, BUSD or ETH. There are three accepted cryptocurrencies on Binance NFT marketplace. And you can easily buy crypto or top up your Binance wallet on the same platform. Basically, there are several steps to purchase crypto on Binance. First, obviously, you can buy crypto. So you can do that in various ways, including buying with your credit card or debit card or even buy it on Binance P2P market so via third party channels. If you are a beginner, I think the easiest way for you to get started is to buy some crypto from your bank card. In the upper menu, just choose buy crypto and fill in the form that pops up in here. You will need to choose the currency and the sum you spend and then you should select the cryptocurrency and enter your bank card credentials. Please note that the fees will follow here. So Binance charges you with 2% uh, like and additional fees uh, will come from the bank side. So the credit card providers charges you as well, but it is still a small sum, I think. Also, Binance's exchange rate might be too high. So if you are searching for more usable exchange rates and zero fees, I think in this case, you should consider like a P2P abilities of the platform. So Binance P2P or peer-to-peer -peer servers allows you to buy crypto from another user. So in simple words, you transfer fiat money to the user's credit card and like they send you crypto from their Binance wallet. So it just, I think, reasonable exchange in here. In some cases, it can be a cheaper alternative to buying crypto with your debit or credit card because you can choose an agreeable exchange rate from the list that offers Binance and select from the whitelist of supported banks. The good thing here is that Binance does not charge any extra fee on P2B transfers. So if you decided to stick with this way and top up your wallet through P2P method, go to the P2P section, then select buy and choose the crypto you want to purchase. You will see the list of available offers with limits, exchange rates and banks. After that, click buy and follow the further guidelines. 
you will need to send fiat money to the peer using his bank credentials and wait for the confirmation of the platform, which usually takes up like 15 minutes or so. Although important step here, if you want to use Binance P2P option, you will have to undergo a personality verification process because the service is available for trustworthy users only. If you don't want to download your documents, consider sending crypto from another wallet. The last alternative here is to deposit crypto to your Binance account. This only applies to crypto holders that have crypto on another platform. To top up your crypto balance, just go to your wallet choose the fiat or spot section and then select the cryptocurrency and click deposit. You will see the wallet addresses where you will need to send funds from another wallet. The important step here, please make sure that you select the right blockchain network. Otherwise, you risk losing your coins irreversibly. So once you've copied your Binance wallet address, paste it in the corresponding field in the wallet you are sending from. Binance will send you a deposit confirmation to your email when the transaction gets processed successfully. We now move to step number three, and it's accessing Binance NFT marketplace on the app or browser. Once you have BNB, BUSD or ETH in your Binance account, you are ready to explore the Binance NFT marketplace. Basically, there are two ways to enter this marketplace. If you open the website through the desktop browser, just click NFT at the top of the Binance.com homepage and you'll arrive at the NFT marketplace. Okay, so if you are using your smartphone, you need Binance app. As you can see on this screen, the user needs to drag down to proceed to the marketplace. On the app homepage, you press more and then press Binance NFT, which you can find under the trade section. Next step, number four, is finding the right NFT. How do you choose the right NFT in this sea of many, many choices? Here are some quick tips for you to find some right NFT before you hit the purchase button. If you are an avid gamer, you can visit the gaming gallery by clicking Gaming or IGO at the top of Binance NFT homepage. You'll find an NFT gaming collections and upcoming drops. Click on gaming projects you find interesting to visit their collection page. Also, you can use the filter functions on the secondary market of the mystery box market. You can search for NFTs according to different categories like collections, sale types, NFT types, and even more. And if you are still hesitating and need some guidance, I think you should check out handpick recommendation and like collections for creators or trending NFTs on the homepage. Also, don't forget to visit the ranking boards on the marketplace page where you'll see top performing NFTs and collections and creators. Okay, I think we're ready for the most important step here is buy the NFT you've chosen. There are three different ways you can buy NFT and it will depend on how the creator has set the sale format. The three sale formats are auction, fixed price and mystery box. So let's observe them all. How to bid for an NFT by auction. On the NFT listing page, just click on place a bid button and then enter your bid amount and click place a bid. Take note of the minimum markup. This is the minimum amount you need to increase uh, the last bid to place your new bid. So once you successfully place your bid, you'll see a confirmation splash screen. So when the auction gets closed, the highest bidder will eventually purchase the NFT. Please note that bids cannot be cancelled and your funds will be locked until a new bid is placed or the auction eventually ends. If you don't like this option, you should consider fixed price NFTs. So the question is how to buy fixed price NFTs and I think it's the most obvious one because you should just simply on the NFT listing page click buy now button and pay the toll price. And that's all. Of course, you will see a pop-up uh, which shows the conferred amount to pay for and you should like click confirm to complete your purchase and that's all. After successful payment, you will see another pop-up box which shows that your purchase is successful. Click on collections in the pop-up to view your purchase NFT. Okay, the last option from all of these three is to buy an NFT mystery box. Mystery boxes contain a surprise NFT that is revealed once you open the box. There are four types of NFTs you might find there. On the mystery box listing page, you will see a fixed price for the box. Then you should click buy to purchase it. 
an order detail pop up later and they, uh, they will ask you to confirm your purchase details. If you agree with that, just complete your purchase here. Click confirm. Once your purchase is successful, click on collections on the confirmation pop-up window to view your unopened mystery box. Alternatively, you can find your collection by visiting the user center. You can choose to open your mystery box right away or keep it as it is in your collection. Open the user center and proceed to the mystery boxes section to access your NFTs. Just press click to reveal, then click open box. Now you'll see what NFT you have unboxed from your mystery box. You can find the NFT in your mystery box collection, of course. So to view that, go to user center, mystery boxes and collections. Okay, congratulations. You now ready to become a full-time NFT collector or maybe trader. However, it's essential to understand and research what you're buying first. So like any other asset in crypto. For gaming NFTs, you can watch our video guides. So we observe the most popular and promising projects in our channel. And for NFT fans who love collectibles and sort of uh, pieces of art, Binance NFT also offers an extensive collection of artists from around the world. So just global and regional and so on is super rich in here. Okay guys, that was it for today. Now you know how to buy NFTs on Binance. And if you're interested in some particular collections on Binance, please write us down in the comments and maybe in the next video we will review it. Don't forget to click the like button of course and subscribe to the channel and also switch on notifications, not miss our upcoming tutorials. We are preparing many interesting materials for you, so stay tuned, stay safe and see you in the next videos.